So what I'm going to do now is show you how to put together this absolutely gorgeous Christmas chocolate roulade. And the recipe is in the magazine and online so you can find out just exactly how to make this roulade. Um, I made this last night and what I did was um, I covered it with a very slightly damp cloth and let it sit overnight just to settle and it's ready to decorate now. So it's perfectly cool. So the first stage is basically I'm going to turn it out onto the baking paper and I'm going to dust that with quite a lot of icing sugar makes it taste fantastic and you get already that lovely kind of Christmassy snow effect. So that just goes, as I say, quite liberally all over there. And this is where it starts to get a little bit messy. I'll do my best. So basically, I will take the roulade and very quickly turn it out. You see the smoke, it, the dust everywhere, but don't worry, that's fine. So get rid of the tin um, and then just carefully peel the paper off the roulade. Actually, it's folded under there, but it's quite... It's actually quite a sturdy mix, so it should be fine. So as I say, just peel it off like that. That's great, it actually looks perfect. And it's a wonderful kind of chocolatey smell that you've got now. Um, so now to fill the roulade, I've got some double cream that I've lightly whipped. And I'm just gonna spread that over. There we go. And you do this quite liberally if you like. And again, you don't have to take your time and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect easy to do. There we go. Now you will get a little bit of squidge coming out as you roll it up but don't worry about that. Um, and now I'm going to put some fresh raspberries in the over the cream. Just a good couple of handfuls. That should be fine. And now the trick with the roulade to get it kind of moving, to get it rolling correctly, I'm going to score a line down the sponge, not going all the way through, probably only just about a third of the way through. And then I'm going to lift the paper and that kind of scored line helps you to get the first curl on the roulade as it goes across. Take your time on this, don't panic, and you will end up with lots of cracks on it as you go along. But that's what makes it look homemade and it looks really pretty. So keep the pressure on. I'm kind of pushing down like this as I go along just to keep it kind of turning as I go. There we go, nearly there. And what you want to aim for is the seam to be on the underside of the roulade, which I think was pretty much there. And that looks great. Now, the tricky bit is getting it onto a platter. You can actually, if you've got someone else around, give them a shout and, and help them, get them to help you do this. So, bear with me one second. What I'm going to do... Uh-oh. This big fish slice is really going to help here. I'm just going to edge it off very carefully because the roulade is quite sticky. Nearly there. And you know what, if it does go a little bit wrong, icing sugar is forgives a lot of sins. So I'll just keep edging it along. Lovely and gooey, as you can see. Nearly there. That's it. Perfect. So what I'll do is just straighten that up a little bit. And now to decorate it. Um, I've got some more icing sugar here, just tip that in and just start to scatter over the top like that. There we go, looks absolutely beautiful. And then I've got some um, fresh holly leaves that I'm just going to pop on the top. You can go as OTT as you like with the decorating. Um, but I just thought some nice fresh leaves that I've just picked them from the garden basically and given them a little wash and they're absolutely perfect to pop on the top. There. there we go. And then just to finish it, I've got some lovely fresh red currants that you can lay over the top like that. And that's pretty much ready to serve. You could either serve that straight away, cut into nice thick slices, or you can pop it in the fridge until you need it.